Okay. Nine of Swords reverse, crossed by the Seven of Cups reverse. So you're getting clarity around something here. Okay. Something to do with a family situation this month. Issues with the masculine. Okay. This is a Leo for my men, I feel. Or not for my men, I'm sorry, for my women. For my uh, men, this is likely you. Okay. But there's some sort of conflict within the family. And I see a lot of confusion, though. But I feel like it's going to be cleared up here. It's about something here has been stressful. Yeah, there's a lot of pride, a lot of ego. Some of you are definitely dealing with an egotistical Leo or someone who has that in their chart. And there's issues within the family, a lot of stress and things like that. But I feel like something's going to come out or you're going to get clarity about something here. There could be some deception coming to light too. Yeah, judgment. You're going to hear a final verdict, a final decision about something. There's going to be some sort of an announcement. Okay, or you could be making a judgment on something. Okay. This is a card of paying attention, right? Pay attention to the red flags here. There could be deception going on, okay? This man, he has anger issues or pride issues. Someone at work, someone in the family, love partner, friend, somebody here. And there's issues with money and finances in the family or just issues in the family this month. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict. Could be over a child or this. there's some sort of gossip, okay? This could be a child or just talking about gossip, defensiveness, okay? For a pentacle, someone here is holding back on some sort of information or they're trying to hold on to something tight out of greed, selfishness, okay? This could be, you know, controlling behavior or being closed off, defensive. It could talk about someone here is holding on tight to money or something, something about money. They don't want to let it go. Um, screw, I don't know why I was getting ready to say Scrooge, almost like Scrooge, and I'm looking at this older man. So someone here is like Scrooge, in a sense, with the money this month or um, just, you know, Maybe it's for good reason. Maybe there's issues with finances. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're going to get some sort of clarity, okay, this month with the judgment card and the hermit. That's all about, you know, spiritual awakening, enlightenment, clarity coming to you. You receiving divine guidance, right? The hermit receives divine guidance. So some of you are getting divine guidance on something to do with this man, okay? Something about this man is significant this month. There's something about a lack of respect or something about that. Pride issues, respect issues, okay? Ego issues. Some of you are talking about health issues. This is not for all of you, but I do pick up something to do with a health issue, okay? Let's see. Fight, yeah, health issue, feelings of abandonment, rejection. Something about a tower moment. So there's something about some sort of deception could be coming to light with the Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of deception. Some of you, it's financial issues someone's getting hit by. Others of you, it's um, health issues. Okay, it's just going to, I'm picking up health issues, financial issues, or deception coming out here. Okay, something about a tower moment, and it's affecting the family. There could be an announcement, news, or something, you know, a final verdict, a final judgment, a final decision. Okay, let me see how you are as a woman in all this. If you're a woman, you got some men around you. Some of you are in a partnership with someone who's acting foolish. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, possible. Uh, Sagittarius like yourself, Leo or Aries. Or these are different men. They could be up to two different men here. And I'm getting foolish behavior. Then you got a water sign woman acting very emotional. There's a lot of arguments. I'm getting that a lot for the holiday. I'm like, this is supposed to be the holiday season. But everybody's arguing and fighting. Mother figure. Okay. Or a woman who's very desperate, insecure acting at times. Or trying to control things. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be in her chart. Um, yeah, it's about not listening to the intuition. Someone here is not listening to the intuition. You're upright as a woman. So, yeah, there could be some hidden things going on here. There's a lot of gossip. Okay. A lot of back and forth. I'm getting that. Disappointment. Okay. Heightened emotion. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So, you got a Taurus Virgo Capricorn man. You got a, a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries man, and then you got a um, Libra Gemini Aquarius, if I didn't say that. Or this man is just, this is just one man, and he's just definitely stubborn, okay? Somebody has gone through some sort of conflict. There's issues with plans, moving things forward, or partnerships in any kind, right? Moving forward. You got the Two of Cups reverse, and you have the... Uh, Two of Wands reverse. Two speak to partnerships in the reverse. Something here is not moving forward with partnerships, business, or love. Plans could be an issue. If you're making plans, this could just be family drama, family feuding going on here. 
grudges being held, be, people, somebody here behaving foolishly, conflict, trying to control things, okay? Disappointment, heightened emotions, regrets, a loss, loss of something here, loss of a loved one, loss of a relationship. It's going to depend on the Sagittarius. But as a woman, you're upright in all this. And then on your mind is this man. And then, like I said, there could be other men. It's going to be people in the family. We'll get more on who they are and all this other stuff. But huh, there's a lot of anger and aggression. Okay? The strength card is like pride, ego, aggression. People can't control their temper. Flying off the handle. There could be, um, you know, issues. Doesn't matter if it's family I'm picking up or friend groups or group situations this month are just not looking to be too good okay um yeah all right so let's see clarify the spirit for my sagittarius game clarify the spirit for my sagittarius game for the month of november 2021 clarify the spirit for them clarify the spirit for sagittarius yeah, you got some people here, some, you know, you got people operating from their ego, you got people arguing, fighting, you got people being verbally, physically abusive, some of you got people here who are liars, okay, deceptive, all right, listen, I just said the income could be coming in, or there's something about money, this could be a job raise promotion, or something to do with money, okay, it could be something to do with an inheritance, this is a clear inheritance situation for some of you, because this is like, you know, endings, passings, right, or divorces, it could speak to legal things going on. You could be going through a legal case with family, families involved. Okay, divorce, trying to divide up assets, who gets what out of the passing, who gets what out of the divorce or something like that. Okay, some about income, money. Concern, yeah, there's a man here, concern. I feel like it's the hermit. This could be like an advisor or someone who's taking a look into something. This could be an older man in the family, a grandfather, father figure. This could be someone on the other side. But someone here is concerned, okay? And I feel like it's this hermit-like figure. Family room. Yeah, this has to do with the family. Some of you, this is a grandfather or father figure. Somebody on the other side that is like, if you look like this is the family room, but it's upside down, right? There's people. This can talk about generations of family coming together or issues with family in general. And that older man is sitting there looking at everything in the family room. He may be alive or not, but he's present. Okay, and he's concerned. He's like, what in the world is going on? Like I said, it could be someone here who's a spirit guide to you on the other side, that older man, or they're in the family. Grandfather, father figure, looks like they're just like, hmm, they're very concerned about what's going on regarding the family. Thief, yeah, someone here's trying to lie, steal, trying to get away with something here. Okay, steal, cheat, trying to, you know, this is like deception. And there could be some sort of unexpected turn of events, tower moment. And there's some about issues. Someone here is going through financial issues or health issues or just I'm feeling a lack here is what I'm getting. But something about a thief. Someone here could be stealing or something. A child. Some of you, it's a child. Because we do have the Page of Swords. This child is young. If they're not a child, they act like a child. Page of Swords is a child, but in the reverse, the Page of Swords is a little liar, a little, you know. So be careful of a child here. They could be withholding things, lying about things. Okay, or just something about a child that's significant or children. Let's see. House, home situation, family. At the bottom, we have distant horizons. So there could be some traveling going on here or just you're waiting on your ship to come in with something, an opportunity to come your way. You're waiting on someone, you know, to come see you or you go see them, something about travel. Or, you know, like I said, waiting on some sort of ship to come in. This could be money or opportunity, an older woman. This could be you as a woman is involved, a mature woman. She doesn't have to be old, old, but she could be older, older. Um, courthouse, there could be something legal going on here with the courthouse. If it's not court, then there's some building involved, okay? Some sort of institution, government, facility, state, federal building, okay? Somewhere where you fill out paperwork or you show up to work there, this could be your place of employment. Okay, but some of you it is legal because the judgment. Okay, and somebody here is in despair. They're upset. There could be multiple people in despair, upset. Somebody here is unemployed for some of you, or they're down on their luck. There's somebody they got caught up with something here legally for some. Something about a child could be in, or they did something childish, foolish. Okay, 
Come here, did something childish, foolish. They took, they did something risky and impulsive if it wasn't a child. Okay, or something to do with that. Some Somebody here. Okay. Hmm. And somehow this mature woman is involved. It could be a child misbehaving or... Let's see. Somebody here was spying on someone, watching someone, or investigating something. There was something about investigation. You could have investigated something or someone here was being investigated or I'm getting someone here was spying or watching something. Like I said, let's see. Clarify this word for Sagittarius. Clarify this word for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see. You have flighty, reckless, impulsive behavior. There's flighty, reckless, impulsive behavior with the butterfly. There could be gossip. Yeah, someone here is in despair. They're upset. Again, there looks like a man. He's a loose cannon or he's like deeply depressed or he's going through something here. He's in despair. He's not in his right state of mind. He looks like he's distraught. Okay. He could be thinking about harming himself or others when I get this card. And he's, you know, there's something about that. Losing it. Somebody here is losing it. Okay. Mentally. This person is not mentally stable in the upright. Okay. And like I said, it could be, you know, grieving over some sort of loss or something. Okay, dressed in, you know, there's some sort of loss I'm picking up. Some sort of loss of income or loss of, you know, somewhere could have got fired or they got caught up. They did, There's some sort of fiery climax. There could have been arguments and fights, explode, or will be. Be careful with that. There's some about explosive arguments, fights, or sudden turns of events that shake things up. And somebody here is in despair. Okay, this man in despair. I feel like it's a man that could also be a woman. They're emotional to the point where it's like, okay, okay, like, mm. yeah, there's a battle going on here with the soldier, military, law enforcement could be involved here. Someone who wears a uniform may have to get involved, but there's some sort of conflict, opposition, battle, the soldier, the uniform person. This could be somebody you know, or there's something about enemies battling it out, okay? Money, money is a situation here, and a message. You could be receiving the message, or someone here is receiving a message from a messenger. Text message, phone call, email, letter in the mail. It's something about money. Money matters. A letter. Yeah, there's some a letter. This could be a paycheck or something to do with some sort of legal documentation. It could be a will, an inheritance situation, and money. Money in the family, the bank, the safe. It's about a letter regarding this that somebody receives. Okay? And something about that unexpected income. I feel like it has something to do with this unexpected income. Okay? And something about a child could be significant in all that. Maybe it's legal things regarding children or, let's see. Yeah, an enemy. This is this man. There could be more than one. There's some about enemies, plotting, right? In order to do battle here with the soldier, the soldier indicates an enemy. They have a weapon for a reason. It represents opposition. There's some sort of enemy here. Some man, some of you need to be careful. There's a man out there trying to set people up, Okay. This is a dangerous man spying and stalking for some of you. I'm getting uh, a pastor, priest, minister is significant. This could be the hermit, a spirit guide to you on the other side. The hermit is a spiritual figure. They're like a spiritual guru, a spirit, the wise one, right? Or it's somebody here who's in, you know, it could represent a judge in a legal case or someone in a position of authority. You could be dealing with lawyers, attorneys. There's something about brother, son, male co-worker for some of you. Something about a young man. Brother, son, male co-worker. Or something about service. Someone here is in the service. Okay. And I'm seeing something about a, you know, a man and two women here or a group situation. There's something about some sort of group situation. You could be attending some sort of group thing. Okay. Like a social event, whether it's at work or personal. Or this is family, maybe at the in the family, right? Thanksgiving, people toasting and drinking and gathering. 
okay but it can also speak to a man and two women like a lover's triangle but be careful because there's a, a male enemy here and they have some of you they have a weapon so i'll be careful and they're not in a right state of mind either okay not all of you isn't going to get that bad but some of you this man is unstable there could be more than one man acting a fool acting foolish and taking risks it's like they're planning or plotting somebody doesn't see something coming they're hiding behind the tree with this weapon in their hand and then he has a weapon up to his head then there's a weapon here there's a lot some of you this may result in and i'm not trying to scare anybody but this could result in gun violence there's too many weapons or somebody here i don't know why somebody here likes to hunt or something i'm picking up or they there's something about that military there's something about weapons here okay i usually don't get all three like this but i'm getting like weapons he's carrying a weapon so just be mindful okay whatever they're using it doesn't have to be an actual weapon weapon but their words could be their weapon they're you know going behind your back and doing certain things could be a weapon there's something about this you know all right let's see clarify this word for sagittarius what do they need to know here for the month of november 2021 Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs for the month of November 2021. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of November 2021. All right, let's see. You have Messiah. Okay. So someone here is serving humanity with humility. Okay. Someone here is serving humanity with humility. This could be you as a woman, because you did come up in the upright. But somebody else here, they feel, they feel like this self-importance they have an exaggerated exaggerated belief that they're the only means to which something can succeed okay so some of you feel self-important egotistical they're a bully i told you this is my bully they conceal deep fears behind verbal and physical abuse got some bullies some here likes to exploit females okay or this this goddess right the empress is a goddess but someone here is exploiting the female nature and form right the empress could allow herself to be exploited right she's supposed to be a goddess someone who knows her worth or she exploits herself and that's it somebody here likes to exploit women or this woman is exploiting herself she's not the goddess because she's in reverse right the empress is you know she could be using something here to get what she wants or she's being exploited okay god okay i'm getting someone here is using power to control people it's almost like somebody here thinks they're God. They think they're the Messiah. Okay. This male or men. They could be in positions of authority. People in the family. Love partners that you're dealing with. Like I said, it could be more than one man involved. Or just one man. He's using power. Or they're using power to control people. And it's talking about being a tyrant. And treating people unfairly. Cruel. Someone here is putting words out there into the universe to have a negative, destructive effect on other people. Pretty much being a bully, verbal abuse again, saying certain things, lying about certain, maybe even gossiping and slandering someone's name. They're Whatever they're doing, they're turning a lyric gift to have a negative, destructive effect. They could even be a musician, lyric gift. That's how it's about a musician. But I'm getting more of their words, whatever they project out of their mouth. It's used to have a negative, destructive effect. Someone here is giving their willpower away to an external authority out of fear of making their own choices. So someone here is like in prison, enslaved. This could be you, okay, or somebody else. Someone here is giving, could be more than one person, giving their willpower away to an external authority out of fear of making their own choices. Someone here is giving their willpower away to this masculine energy, I kind of feel, and relying on luck rather than hard work. Someone here is lazy. They want an easy come up, okay. Someone here feels like they could, could, you know, play puppet master with somebody here. Look how she's tied up here. I feel like it's that feminine energy. This doesn't have to, it could be another woman around you. It's almost like someone's playing puppet master with her, with her, giving her willpower away to an external authority out of fear of making her own choices. Okay. Somebody here feels like they're God in a sense. This man or men, despotism and cruelty, using power to control someone like a puppet. And somebody here is turning a leery gift that they have to neg have a negative destructive effect on others they could be a musician could be in the industry doesn't have to be someone here's almost like you know or there's something about turning their words take out that part just someone here's putting something out of their mouth saying certain things to have a negative destructive effect they're a bully 
They conceal deep fears behind verbal and physical abuse. And someone here is relying on luck rather than hard work. So laziness, pretty much. And like I said, someone who's exploiting the female nature and form. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting somebody here likes to, uh, like they're insecure about their body. Someone here is very insecure about their body. They may have a lot of surgery. I don't know why I'm getting somebody here is having a lot of plastic surgery. They, and you know, they, there's something about that. Okay. Not all of you, but yeah. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, she could be a feminine energy. Some of you, she's very intuitive, but she uses that to manipulate people. Like I said, as a woman, you're upright, so I don't feel like that's you. As a man, there's a woman upright, and you're reverse here. And then you got like a mother figure, baby mama, mother-in-law. Somebody here is manipulative. They're hiding things, or they're not trusting their intuition. They're emotional. They could be being, the, being victimized, or they're, you know. All right, let's see. Let's pull some circle cards first. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Flipped out already. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, I think that's good enough. So yeah, there's some sort of misunderstandings here. There's some sort of misunderstandings this month. Okay, with others. It's talking about pleasure with a close friend. You could be having pleasure with close friends or a close friend of yours. Or it could be more than just friends. Maybe it's pleasure, pleasure. Like, you know, something about a wish will not be granted here this month, okay? A wish, whether you made it or somebody else, there's about a broken wishbone, right? Always makes me think of a turkey. <laughs> it's about great good fortune could be coming in here. Great good fortune. And there's changes in your life. Get back to the basics. Get focused on a goal. Um, or just get focused. Birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. It could be birth or conception of a child or like a business enterprise. Maybe that's why the child was there. They're saying pay attention to your work. You need to get focused here. Someone is, you could have multiple people leaving your life or someone, someone here is leaving your life. It could be more than one. There's people in the reverse. So it could be that man on your mind. And I see family wishes coming true. So your family wishes will come true. I kind of feel like somebody else made a wish and it's not going to come true. And if, you're, if a wish of yours didn't come true, it may be for good reason, but they're saying you will be playing a different role. This could be in a job or a relationship, okay? Or just in some, whatever role you're playing, you're going to play a different role. Okay? Like I said, some sort of misunderstanding. Enemies. Defensiveness and stuff. All right, let's see. Something about great good fortune. That could have something to do with that income. All right, let me move this over. All right, clarify this prayer for Sagittarius, some more rising signs for the month of November 2021. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius, some more rising signs for the month of November 2021. Clarify this spread for Sagittarius. Sun Moon Rising signs for the month of uh, November. I don't know why I was about to say September. For the no month of November 2021, Cla clarify the spread for them. Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising signs for the month of November 2021. Clarify the spread. Let's see what's at the bottom. Cancer, okay. So you could be dealing with a cancer, okay? You may have cancer in your natal chart, your birth chart, if you know your birth chart, or someone around you has cancer in their chart. Or there's something about the, the energy of cancer. Cancer is, I feel, right? Um, it's all about emotions. So there could be heightened emotions. There could be upsets, moodiness, okay, this month from you or others. 
irritability and things like that. Um, codependent. Someone here is in a codependent toxic relationship or they're codependent on something here. Um, codependent on other people financially or something. There's some about codependency. Someone here is relying on luck rather than hard work, okay? This could also be codependency on drugs, alcohol, something. Some, somebody here is codependent. White, okay? Someone here may have white hair or something. They could have gray or white hair when I get this card. Um, they could be white, their color could be white, or they drive a white car. There's something about the color white, okay? Um, someone here is mentally unstable. This man, I definitely feel the king of swords is. Someone here is mentally unstable, okay? Or unstable mentally. Someone here is going to get a job race promotion here, or there's something significant around a job race promotion. We did say, uh, see unexpected income, Okay. I feel like, you know, somebody here is getting a job race promotion, okay? But I see somebody here, it almost looks like someone who's getting demoted or not, you know? Something about this, something about that, okay? Job race promotion. Twins, okay? Some of you have twins, okay? When I get this card, or this could be, you know, someone here could be, I'm getting Gemini for some reason, like twins. Someone here has a double personality, I'm also getting that when I get this card, like split personalities, two-faced when I get this card, or maybe something something about twins could be significant, okay? DUI, oh, okay, well, DUI, drunk driving, so be careful. You or someone else is sitting up here drunk driving or get, may catch a DUI this month or they're drunk driving. I did see somebody here looking like they drink a lot, Okay. They're mentally unstable. They're not, you know, they're somehow DUI, okay? Opportunist. Someone here is an opportunist, okay? This could be at work or whatever. Someone here is um, looking for an easy come up. They're an opportunist, okay? So be careful of that. Karma. Karma could be coming around for somebody here. It's about to go down. That's what... That's what this has to do with this tower. It's about to fall. There's some sort of unexpected turn of events. Okay, somebody here needs to not drink. I hope nobody gets in, gets uh, gets into an accident. I cannot talk for some reason. Gets into because this could be a card of like car crashes or just unexpected like things crumbling down that were built on a weak foundation. It's about to go down, right? Something major. Okay, could have something to do with some sneaky behavior or something to do with that karma is involved. And someone here is an opportunist. And it's about twins or just like, yeah, someone who's unstable mentally, codependent on drinking drugs or something like that, or codependent in relationships or, you know. All right, let's see. It's about to go down. Drama chaos. Can't make this stuff up. Okay. This month, Aries could be involved. So we had cancer. Now we have Aries. This could be in our sun, moon, rising. They sleep around, okay? Well, we know the King of Wands does. They're a player, right? They can't control that animal within. They can't control the lion within. They could be a ladies' man, okay? True love. Maybe some of you feel like somebody here is your true love. There's something about true love. This could, maybe you feel like that or it, maybe there is a true love in this situation, but something about true love. They're wearing a mask. Uh, okay. I mean, come on. They sleep around true love. Some of you may consider a true love. They're wearing a mask. They're not, no. They're wearing a false mask. Uncle could be significant for some of you. Some about an uncle. Um, someone here is sick, ill. An uncle could be sick, ill. Okay, someone here may have cancer. That's not for all of you. Okay. But someone here is sick, ill. Some of you need to be careful that someone here is not, you know, they sleep around. So they could be sick, ill off of something else too. But, um, use your imagination, okay? There's going to be a lot of drama and chaos over something. And there's some about, someone here could be sick or ill because the Five of Pentacles is about poor health, poor finances. Something here about that. A lack, feeling a lack. Someone here could be sick. All right, or they're not mentally well. If they are, like, they could be unstable, mentally ill, like mental illness. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but 
Somebody here needs to pay it. There's something about health. Because this could even be a card of health. Because it looks like the Red Cross symbol. So it kind of represents like a medical symbol. And then I see the Hermit. The Hermit is the healer. Right? It's Virgo energy of healing. Health. Virgo rules the uh, house of health. Sixth house. Okay. Alright, let's see. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know? Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Also, with that Aries energy, just like I said with Cancer, I get that, you know, Aries, Aries is about aggression and stubbornness and fiery temper. So I do get that. Some about fiery climax, tempers, argument, aggression, something about Mars energy, right? The tower is Mars and it's, it's, uh, Mars is a planet of war, conflict, of he, you know, it can speak to destruction, war, things like that. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius. Someone rising. Clarify the spread for Sagittarius. Okay. Somebody here, I'm getting whistleblower. Somebody here may uh, blow the, uh, it's almost like somebody here, I'm getting whistleblower or there's some sort of announcement of some kind or something. To, I'm getting sirens. Like, Law enforcement may have to get involved or emergency responders. I'm seeing a fire for some of you or just some sort of, like I said, an accident I picked up on. Something to do or some domestic situation. It could be conflict, heated, you know, heated things. They're saying there needs to be a balance between your spiritual side and your practical side here, okay? It's about being spiritual and practical, trying to find that balance. Someone is too spiritual or they're too practical, thinking about money only and forgetting their spiritual side or vice versa. Only being spiritual and forgetting to take practical steps to make their dreams come true. Someone here needs to work through their fears, okay? This could be you. They're saying work through your fears. A win-win outcome is possible here. Or a forecast. Your hard work is paying off. Fall season, right? Autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you will reap a wonderful harvest of abundance. Okay, this, this month then. Something about a sun could be significant. Doesn't matter how old they are. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. Okay, or there's something significant about my son. They're saying new career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Again, you can be getting a job raise promotion. Something about a child or children are involved. Some of you may work with them or you have them. Your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. Clarity. So clarity is coming to you, like I said. The Hermit is about clarity, right? Whatever's in the dark, he's shedding light. He's bringing clarity. The Judgment card is about clarity, right? Ancestors sending you signs, synchronicities. This is about spiritual awakening. Some of you are clairvoyant, clairaudient, or you're dealing with someone here who can see into the future and bring you clarity. This is like a crystal ball. Some of you are going to get clarity around things. Cause, and many of you, deception. Yeah, you have a spirit guide watching over you, guiding you, trying to bring you clarity. I told you this could be a spirit guide on the other side. Or just someone in your life who's like a spirit guide. Justice. They're bringing justice to a situation. This could be legally, right? This has to do with that uh, win-win outcome, okay? It's about Libra and energy. Justice, the law, legal matters, or just karma. It talks about karma. Manifestation. They're saying you can manifest here. This is all about uh, spirituality and practicality, finding that balance. They're pointing up because it's spiritual, right? Pointing up to the universe, the sky, pointing down to the earth here to represent that practical side. Okay, and that's how you can manifest something. It has a lot to do with this. Balancing spirituality with practicality. Being able to manifest, not only, you know, being able to find a combination between your spiritual side and actually being practical and taking steps towards your goals. 
Because some people lose that. They're too money, money, money focused and they forget about, you know, there's a higher power out there. They're only earthbound. And some people are too spiritual delusionally to the point of delusion where they, they're ungrounded. They're like, oh, I wished, I hoped, I prayed to God for things. But it's like, did you take any practical steps? So it's good to be practical at times too. And that's how you're able to manifest something. But yeah, work through your fears, a win-win outcome. I'm feeling this is like the justice card, the scales. Right, Libra energy with the scales or something about that. I feel like it's tied to this card. With these scales on either side. But anyway, justice will be brought to a situation. Karma, the karmic scales are balancing. Okay. There's a need for balance. All right. Let's get you um, an advice card. What's the advice for Sagittarius? What's the advice for Sagittarius with this reading? For the month of November 2021. Let's see. What's the advice for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of November 2021. Let's see. Horseman, herald of change. So it's, uh, expect some news to come in. It's about a wall. Okay. Something about a wall. I feel like it has something to do with this. Right? No coincidence. <laughs> the wall, right? Something about misunderstandings. Something about this wall. And it's something about obstacles. And then you have someone here, this could talk about news coming in. Someone here is bringing an announcement, news, herald of change. Okay, let me read both of these quickly and then I'll be done. Number 30, let me read that first. It says, when the horseman appears, he is inviting you to spread the good news. Everyone already knows the bad news. Your task is to point out the beautiful when others see only the ugly. Note the possible, no matter how impossible it may seem. This does not mean becoming giddy or blindly optimistic, but rather reminding yourself that every storm cloud has a silver lining. Become a herald of the positive, put away the fatalistic attitude, the dire predictions, and the dreadful expectations about the world or about your life. Declare the arrival of a new and better you. Proclaim that you have risen from the realms of the dead. Some of you literally, they're saying you're going through some sort of awakening. Proclaim that you have... Um, risen from the realms of the dead, woken from a long and dreadful slumber, and are back on the world stage, the show is on again. The horseman cautions you not to allow your exuberance to become ho hollow or trivial. Be sure that there is substance to the news that you are spreading, and you are willing to live up to the expectations that you raise. The world will welcome you with open arms as you share an uplifting message. Heed the horseman when he shows up for he bears good news and is announcing a prosperous and peaceful time. So there's going to be some sort of good news. It's funny because they said proclaim that you have re uh, risen from the realms of the dead. And this is literally a card of rebirth resurrection. Okay. They're literally coming up out of this coffin. Okay. So they're saying everybody already knows the bad news about something here. There was some bad news, but they're saying it's it's your there's something about every storm cloud, right? This is like a storm has a silver lining. All right, so let's see. Number 56. There are moments in your life when you are so geared up, you are so sure you're on the right track with drive and momentum that you are shocked and confused when you encounter a wall. This unpredictability occurs outside your ability to plan, regardless if you've done everything right in alignment with the divine. It's imperative that you change your attitude now. This temporary roadblock is not an obstacle to blast through. This is not an invitation to push harder, cancel other plans, or worry about who will win or lose. This is a stopping point to enable you to slow down and contemplate the part of the manifesting equation that you and every, everyone else is forgetting. Life on life's terms will override your best laid plans. Yes, as inconvenient as a reminder that you are a human being and not a human doing. Perhaps you're being reminded of your mortality or that you are a small part of a bigger universe where destiny intersects with others. I'm sorry, where your destiny intersects with others. Your life may be meant to serve another purpose at this time and your attention may be meant to be directed elsewhere. Consider that this place of temporary non-action is exactly meant to be for you. Perhaps it's because all you desire and have set in motion needs to time to coalesce and to form on the other side. 
Could it be that all the elements are not yet in place for its manifestation to be for the highest good of all? Patience is required now, and the wisdom that this might be a great time to take a break and contemplate gratitude. What is truly yours will never be walled off from you. Okay? So some of you, there's something about hitting some sort of a wall here, but it's meant to be. There's something about something about plans, not going as planned. Something you may feel is not a part of the plan, but spirit has over, you know, there's something about people are not taking into account something here. This is a stopping point to enable you to slow down, contemplate part of this manifesting equation that you and everyone else is forgetting here. Like people, this, you know, there's something about you and everyone else are forgetting something here. Life on life's terms will override your best laid plans. It's something like you may be reminded of your mortality too. Someone here may be being my, reminded of their mortality. That kind of feels like a passing to me, but that's not all of you. Okay. Like they said, this is not an invitation to push harder, cancel other plans, or worry about who will win or lose. Especially if you're male or female, it doesn't matter. But just, you know, especially for my men, because I see some about ego and worrying about who will win or lose. That's not going to work. That's going to end up in a tower moment. Don't try to push anything, okay? All right. So hopefully you got something from that, Sagittarius. And I'll see you guys again. See you guys again. See you guys again. See you guys again.